Hello guys, welcome back. Let's see one of the C language question which was asked in GATE 2018. Consider the following C code. Assume that unsigned long int type length is 64 bits. Okay, means they have uh, given here few lines of code and they are asking for the value returned when we call the function with an input 2 power 40 is. Okay, so here uh, let me explain few terms. Unsigned means it can it can store only positive values. Whereas uh, signed means it can store both negative, zero and positive values. And that depends upon the number of bits it is going to store. Here they are saying that unsigned long in type means it is going to store from 0 to 2 power 64 minus 1. If it is a 32 bit, 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1. If it is signed means it is having different representation. Okay, fine. So here they are saying that unsigned long int function. So they are passing here the input is 2 power 40. When the input is 2 power 40 they are passing what value it is going to return it is they are asking. Okay, fine. Whenever this function is executed it is going to create memory location for i into i and for j with default value as 0 and for sum they have declared as 0. For i equal to n means my i value is n. What is n? 2 power 40. They have passed already. Until i greater than 1, until i greater than 1, I need to increment j value. I need to increment j value. Here you need to understood one point. For loop. For loop having three parameters, one is insulation parameter, second one is conditional parameter, third one is increment or decrement parameters, initialization parameters. Okay, fine. So, how this for loop is going to execute? For loop, insulation statement is going to execute for only one time. Then, after execution of insulation statement, it is going to execute condition statement. Then, it is going to execute body of the for loop. Then, it is going to execute increment or decrement. Then, condition then body, then increment or decrement, then condition like this, it is going to iterate. But installation statement only executes for only one time, that you need to understand. Okay, fine. For i equal to n, i value is initialized to 2 power 40. Is, they are going to check, is i greater than 1? Yes. When i greater than 1, it is going to execute j plus plus, means j value will be incremented by 1. Okay. After execution of the body, then it is going to execute what? i equal to i by 2 i equal to i by 2 means 2 power 40 i equal to 2 power 40 by 2 can i write like 2 power 40 minus 2 power 1 here let me concise to here 2 power 40 minus 1 Here, 2 power 40 by 2, we can write like 2 power 40 minus 1, that is 2 power 39. Okay, means whenever I am divided by i value will be replaced with 2 power 39. Okay, now is 2 power 39 is greater than 1? Yes, then it is going to execute j value by one more time. Then 2 power 39 by 2, once again you will get 2 power 38. Now, 2 power 38, I am going to get is 2 power 38 is greater than 1, yes, then i j value will be incremented by one more time. Then 2 power 38 by 2, yes, then 2 power 38 by 2 is 2 power 37 is greater than 1, yes, then you are going to increment it by one more time. Like this, this process will continue until you will get like 2 square, 2 square, let us assume that 2 square, 2 square is greater than 1, yes, okay, then 2 power 1, yes, greater than 1. Then finally you will get 2 by 2, 2 power 1 by 2 is 1, here the condition fails, means you will start with 2 power 40, 2 power 39, 2 power 38, 2 power 37 and so on until 2 power 1 it is true, until 2 power 1 it is true, right, when 2 power 40 it is 0, it is 0, 
so until 2 power 1 what will happen it is going to get how many values it is going to increment by the number 40 means for every number it is going to increment by 1 for 2 power 40 1 2 power 39 2 2 power 38 3 2 power 37 4 2 power 36 5 and so on so my final j value will be 40 i hope you need you need to you need you need clarity here make a complete uh, uh, execution here okay so j finally after execution of this block j value will be 40 now it is going to execute one second for loop one more for loop without initialization condition now until j greater than 1 until j greater than 1 it is going to execute some value right so when j greater than 1 some value will be incremented by 1 yes now j value will be what happened j by 2 means 20 now j value will be 20 now some will be uh, 20 is greater than 1 yes some will be incremented by 2 now j value will be by 2 that is 10 now it is greater than 1 yes some will be incremented by 3 now it is divided with 2 yes greater than 1 so incremented by 4 now it is divided by 2 it is divided by 2 means you will get 2 greater than 1 yes some value will be 5 now divide by 1 now divide by 1 when divide by 1 is it greater than 1 is this greater value greater than 1 no condition fail when condition fail it is going to perform the next statement return sum what it is going to return it is going to return the sum value what is the value of sum 5 so the output it is going to return as 5 so b is the correct answer so probably most of the members are confusing here by performing division 2 power 40 by 2 you need to make exact calculation okay it's a simple one i hope you understood thank you